yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here so next step what we want to do over here is once we click on this particular image over here we want to go to our next script where it can be uh, where we can apply a pinch to zoom so we can create a zoomable image we get over here so for that let's go to the uh, widget and let's create the uh, new file and let's call this one as the pincs pinch to underscore object o o m zoom right dot the dot file and let's create this particular file over here that will be of the uh, let's create a state full over here and let's import the uh, material of uh, flutter material package so for that let's go on to the down over here and uh, let's go and return from here i'll return a stack over here uh, stack stack over here and stack has the uh, children over here and with these children i'll just first of all return the center over here and center has the child and because i want to place the image in the center so i'll be using a uh, intr interactive viewer over here to generate the uh, pinch to zoom over here and with this we can provide some of the uh, prompts or the properties over here so few of the properties will be the uh, clip behavior so the uh, clip behavior that i will provide it as the uh, none over here and also i will provide the uh, min scale and then the that will be of the minimum i want to have a scale of the one and the max scale i want to go up to four which means that the uh, it can be zoomed till the uh, four maximum to the four of the current size so the uh, current size into the four and then we'll uh, wrap this one with the uh, expect ratio over here and we'll provide the expect ratio for our current image over here and that will be of the uh, let's say you can either provide this 16 um, divided by the um, 9 right or we can just use something similar uh, let's use a 1 for now and let's see how it look like if it doesn't look good you can change the aspect ratio over here and then we'll provide the child that will be of the image and i'll use the memory see, since we need to use uh, the um, the base 64 format and that will be of the let's remove this one we'll go and grab this one as the uh, final and i'll just get the image over here that would be of the uh, unit uh unit at list over here right so let's grab that one and that will be of the image itself over here sorry it should be img image over here and let's make this one as the uh, required field over here this dot the image over here and let's go down over here and now we can pass in the widget not the width it should be of the uh, wid get widget that we have dot the image over here and the next is we'll go and create let's go and arrange this one properly over here i guess this should be fine over here and let's go and create the uh, one more over here that will be of the we will require the row so let's go and create the uh, row over here and then row has the uh, children over here and also let's wrap this row with the uh, padding over here so let's go and wrap this one with the padding and the padding let's give this one something like the uh, let's go and have the padding like the um, 32 from the top and uh, then once we have that let's go on over here and let's go and create some let's create the icon button so basically we want to create the icon button to navigate back from here so uh, let's go and because we haven't added the uh, scaffold over here that's why we need to create the back button so we can navigate back over here and icon let's go and have the icon so let's say icon or well, let's use a back button uh, back button icon over here so i guess this is the one that we require and if you go and take a look over here and it has the platform specific over here so i'll just go and uh, copy this one so since we are just targeting on the uh, mobile device just copy this one from here and let's copy this one and let's go and create the new function over here and let's go down over here and it will return us the icon over here 
and let's say just a back icon over here and that will be of this one so let's go and paste this switch case over here let's try to arrange it over here so if the uh the platform each of the um the android and the ios we need to return a different one so from here we'll uh wrap this one with the uh widget over here okay so we can't find that so let's go and have here a written let's return the uh let's go and return from here the const of the uh, icon itself and with this icon we are going to return this particular icon over here just copy this and paste it over here and also i'll go and change the color over here the color will be actually rs colors uh, dot the uh, white over here and now we can close it over here and just remove this one from here and now let's copy this and for our uh, mac os we are going to return our uh, mac os and the ios we are going to return a different kind of the of the arrow back ios over here let's just remove this one and let's try to arrange this one properly so i guess that should be fine and uh, we have this back button icon now and we can just go on to the top over here instead of returning this one we can just go and return the uh, back icon from here and we are good to go so now you can also add the the code over here that will be of the navi the navigator dot the pop from the current uh, current route so we are good with that and also if you want you can add some uh, buttons some more buttons over here since this is a row and we'll go and add the another button over here or the icon that will be of the uh, icon and let's say the uh, icon icons dot the let's say a uh, favorite over here fav and that should be fine and let's also change the color for this one over here so the color and the color colors dot the white itself over here and let's make this one as the const over here and we are good to go so now what we need to do is once we click on this particular list image we want to navigate there uh, to that particular screen so let's go on to the top over here and this is the card so let's wrap this one with the uh we get over here and this will be of the uh, gest your gesture i guess it should be of a gest gesture detector over here and what we'll do is we'll use the on a tap over here once we tap on that let's navigate and navi uh, navigator and g-a-t-o-r navigator dot push to the particular route over here and this switch of the context and then the route over here so let's try to arrange this one properly first of all and route will be of the uh, material page route and we don't require the uh, builder over here so let's uh, provide the uh, underscore over here and that's going to return us our uh, pinch to zoom right so this is the one that we require and the image each of the uh, image so this is the one that we require and just passing dot the uh, image over here so i guess that should be fine and let's try to reload the application and uh, let's go back to our device and if you go over here now you can see we have the the um, zoomable image so i guess i can use the you no know, you can see now we can zoom this particular image over here that's cool right and uh, we can just go and click on back button and we are back over here click on this one we got a uh, image and now you can zoom this particular image over here that's cool so that's cool and what we need to do now is let's go and fix that a bit over here and let's fix uh let's push this one the guns to the uh, spacer over here and let's push that one to the end over here so just try to hot reload uh let's go back over here and if you go over here and now we have that one over here and that's i guess uh, pretty cool over here and uh, we were able to add the pinch to zoom over here and let's meet up in the uh, next lecture uh, where we will add some more stuff so we also want to make this one as the zoomable image so the user can actually zoom this particular image let's continue with our lesson on the uh, next 
lecture till then have a great day